how to replace the thermal paste on a laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the Lenovo Legion Y9000P laptop, as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 9.5 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Prepare a PH00 screwdriver to remove the 10 screws from the back cover. When opening the casing, prepare a pry bar and triangular prying piece. Stand the laptop up and aim at the corner of the body, insert the pry bar into the gap of the casing and open the gap with the prying piece along the side. Repeat the same process on the other corner to unclip the locks. Do not use excessive force to avoid damaging the casing. After opening the bottom cover, prepare two pry bars to remove the power cable. The cable can be slowly pulled out after propping it with two pry bars. After disconnecting the cable, press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3, remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use a PH00 screwdriver to remove the three screws of the right side heatsink. Use a pry bar to push back and forth on both sides to remove the right fan connector. On the left side, remove the three screws of the left heat sink. Use the pry bar to remove the left fan connector. For the right fan, remove the two screws securing the fan. Do the same for the left fan. For the heat sink, loosen the six screws in the order as indicated by the screws. When removing screws, choose a high quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo 01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane and apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Finally, remove the heat sink slowly. Next, clear the dried thermal paste on the heat sink. To more efficiently clean the old thermal paste, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see that the thermal paste has dried up after several years of use, and the heat dissipation capability has also declined. In addition to the radiator, we also use thermal paste cleaning wipes to wipe off the dried thermal paste on the CPU and GPU. Step 4, clean the fan. Use a PH00 screwdriver to remove the five small screws on the right fan of the heatsink. The left fan is the same, also five, then you can dismantle the fan. Prepare an anti-static brush to clean the dust on the fan and heatsink. Compressed air can clean the details. Remember to maintain a small distance to avoid liquid spraying out when using it. After cleaning the fan, screw back the 10 small screws, 5 on each side.
Don't forget to clean the motherboard exhaust port and the back panel casing as well, as these areas are very prone to get dusty. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-Size method if you like. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. Do the same steps in reverse to install back the fans and heatsink. Align the holes of the heatsink and press down. Screw back the total of 4 screws for both fans. Tighten the screws in the order as indicated on the heatsink. It's recommended to screw them to 70% tightness first, and then tighten them after all are in place to avoid excessive stress. Install the power cable for both fans. Then install the heat sinks on both sides, screw back the screws on the heat sinks, three on each side, a total of six. Finally, install the power cable. You can power up to check if the laptop is working normally. Cover back the laptop cover, secure the locks and screw back the screws, and then it's all done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.